This is why we are here. The main card has arrived. Power Slap 7 coming to you live and free on Rumble from the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. Four more matches on the way, including the heavyweight title fight in the main event featuring the undefeated Damian DeBell alongside the Hall of Famer. Michael Bisping, I'm Dan Helley, and as per usual, the prelims did not disappoint. And the good news is we are not done yet. An entire four-fight main card is on the way. And until that last fight, Michael, it was the red corner that had won every fight. Babyface, the first guy from the blue corner, probably means nothing, but still somewhat interesting. Yeah, listen, this place is absolutely packed. The energy in here is crazy, full of celebrities. We've got Aaliyah Taporia, we've got multiple champs, we've got WWE wrestlers, actors, comedians, you name it, they're all here to see it. What a night so far. All right, we are uh, taking a look at the main card coming up here on Rumble. Azael Rodriguez welcomes former light heavyweight champ AJ Hintz to the middleweight division. The Hawaiian hitman, Dane Vierne, is back for the first time in a year facing Evian Scott in a super heavyweight match. In the co-main, it's Wolverine taking on Austin Turpin. And in the main event, it's the heavyweight champ, Damian DeBell, undefeated taking on Ryan Phillips. We are taking a look at the top 10 welterweight or middleweight rankings presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order. Aziel Rodriguez ready to get down to business tonight. Now that the table is set, it is time for Power Slap and the table to rise once again. Our first match of the night features former light heavyweight champ AJ Hintz moving down to middleweight where he won the coin toss and he faces Aziel Rodriguez. Seems like a long time since Aziel Rodriguez and AJ Hintz classed on power slap, rode to the title with some bad feelings never go away. And tonight they get to settle a score once and for all. Bad blood was brewing between Aziel Rodriguez and AJ Hintz throughout season one of Power Slap Road to the title. But the two rivals never had the chance to settle their business on the sport's biggest stage. Tonight, the pair finally meet in what should be an explosive middleweight matchup. Tonight, I'm gonna knock out AJ, knock out the former light heavyweight, just to show the world that I have that strength, I have that dog in me. Aziel, you're in for a rude awakening, bro. If you're the dog, I'm Caesar Milan. Wisconsin's AJ Hintz soared to start him last year when he won the Power Slap light heavyweight title by knocking out Vernon Cathy. But after a busy 2023 campaign, it's a fresh start and a new division for Hintz, who begins his quest for a 185 pound title against Azael Rodriguez. We have beef and it's kind of been building up since season one. He called me out at the end, but he didn't want to come up to 205. So uh, I came down to 185. Already seven fights into his power slap career, Aziel Rodriguez can always be counted on to face off with anyone at any time. But no matchup got him more amped up than when he was contacted to face off with AJ Hintz in a bout that is a lot more personal than business. Whenever someone tries to stand up to me for no reason, um, I just deliver. So expect a knockout after this one.
as well. El Pedro, Azael Rodriguez, one of the most talked about fighters on season one of Road to the Title. He also has been one of the most active and successful slappers on the roster, training full-time in combat sports since moving from San Diego to Grenada with his wife, who is in vet school. This guy's a dog, man, five and two coming in, and he is uh, one who wants to get very much back in the title picture. Yeah, absolutely, as you say, a lot of combat sports experience, a lot of power slap uh, experience as well. And then you throw in a little bit of bad blood. Of course, on season one, these two had to be separated on many occasions. So that always makes it a little more spicier. But again, we've seen a few fouls tonight. We've said about it multiple times. When the emotions are running high, you've got to control yourself. You want to do damage. You want to knock your opponent out. You want to punish them. But then also, you can fall victim to making fouls, flinching, stepping, clubbing. You've got to follow the rules. Coming off a title fight, he desperately wants to get back there. The Tale of the Tape brought to you by Estrella Jalisco, an authentic Cerveza Dorado, and the official beer of Power Slap. Aziel Rodriguez, one year older, but it is AJ Hintz who is the favorite and has a two inch reach advantage coming into this one as we send it to our Power Slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap middleweight division and presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. Introducing first in the blue corner, he stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Out of Adams, Wisconsin, he is the former Power Slap Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, AJ Static Hits. And in the red corner, he stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 184 and one half pounds. Out of San Diego, California. He is a number one ranked middleweight contender in the world. Azael El Pedro Rodriguez. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, AJ Hintz. For a limited time, apply for a Crypto.com Visa card and get a free iPhone. Download the Crypto.com app today. This is one of the ones I've been most looking forward to, Mike. Yeah, AJ Hintz, as we said, a lot of experience. Five knockouts he's had in Power Slap. All right, boys, two here we go. in the very first round. So, All right, Rodriguez please, walks please, up. Please. And he's slapped on two right in each there. of his That's last two position. matches. Okay. Most guys right go there, on three. Move. We've seen a couple go on one. What? Hand in he's one of the few right to go on two. Three. Right but on three. He's decided right to go on, on three. three. Right on three. Yes. AJ looks, as we know, he's dropped down a weight class, but okay. incredibly That's your measure. That is your like measure. a different person. He really does. Does he have the same power? We talked to him earlier. He said he did. We'll find yeah. out here on the first slap. But you always One. tell yourself that. Now we're going to find out. Two. Oh. Oh. That looks like club. that's a club. Foul club. Oh, ah. One point blue club. Look at Rodriguez. One point blue club. One point blue club. Got him right on the neck, Well, there it is. You were low. Now, oh, that was my. clear. I yeah, missed clear. the entire target. He's got nowhere he's near got extra time on the neck. Relax. And I think Azael knew it right away. You could see Azael, the reaction. You do have extra time to recover. Look at that. It was like a karate okay. chop. So you've got a you know that old school, like James Bond, put the water, you to the neck <laughs> and down the <laughs> go. Okay. Could you imagine if he knocked right, him I, out? I got an eye on the clock. Well, then he loses. That's fine. It, it, it'd be disqualified. Right. Follow through. That because follow it is, through is what's going to put him the fuck out. It could almost okay? be a strategy if you club you know somebody you and you, you, you stun them a little bit and they continue, you, but you, when you risk down, them not being able no to continue, puppy, and then right? it's Let's an automatic go. loss. Let's go. Yeah. Sometimes they say that, you know, in MMA or in some fights. Like a nut shot. 
Okay. He slapped on one last match, did Azael Rodriguez. Let's okay. see where he goes here. Shoulders down just a little bit. Right. Stay right there. Stay right there. How about the look? I was going eyeballs. He is locked in. Right on three. He's going on three. Right on three. So yes, both man. slap That's fighters mixing it up here in Power Slap 7. One. Two. Oh. He took the fight out of him. Two. Wow. Three. He it up. Four. Oh, my word. We've seen Five. that before. Mercos Six. Prokop versus Gabriel Seven. Gonzaga went down like that. Tore all the ligaments in his Come leg. On. He's up. He's fine. He's a little wobbly. Oh, that might be the leg. They called it. They called it. Ah. El Perro gets it done. Wow. The way he went down on that leg. That looks bad. He's lost the fight fair and square. But I'm concerned for the well being of his knee. But never mind that Aziel Rodriguez. What a shot. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast. Well, losing all of that weight, I'm sure it didn't help his ability to take that shot, but that was delivered perfectly. Good placement, fair blow. And look at the face on AJ Hintz. Let's take a look at the way he falls again. He steps back to try and stop himself. Uh, he's not too bad. He didn't twist it too much. He steps back. They're going to look at the foot. There, there he is. I... He tried to catch himself. He was able to get up. Hopefully no damage done to yeah. the knee there. Let's have a look at the placement. That's a good shot of AJ Hintz. You know, AJ Hintz. knocked into another dimension. Here's the foot that they're looking at yes. right now. So... There's definitely a heel lift. Was it too much? That's the question. Well, that's down to the discretion of the judges. It was a lift, that's for sure. How much is too much? They're going to call a clubbing foul, not a heel lift, but a clubbing foul. And Azael Rodriguez is going to be DQ'd. That means this is the second fight that A.J. Hintz will have won because of a disqualification of his opponent. He retained the light heavyweight title despite being knocked out by Russell Rivero because of a foul. Win is a win at the end of the day, and that is clearly a club. Look at that, very high, up high, pretty much just on the cheekbone exclusively. Yeah, just a wee bit high. He was misses, on the top half of that cheekbone. Yeah, that misses the jaw, the jaw, lands on the cheekbone. AJ Hintz goes down. Might have tore his ACL, but he goes home a winner. Azael Rodriguez frustrated after what seemed like a fantastic performance. So, I don't know if Gonna be DQ'd for clubbing and will drop to five and four in yeah, power slap instead of getting his fifth career knockout. Rodriguez knows, you can see the look on his face. He's like, oh, why did I do that? As I said, bad blood, emotions run high. Tonight's decision presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order. Here is our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tyone calls a stop to the match in round number one, declaring the winner by disqualification due to clubbing, AJ Static Hintz. So AJ Hintz gets the win because his opponent, Azul Rodriguez, had a foul. There's a little Yachty in the house. Stars are everywhere here at Power Slap. Theo Vaughn, one of the more entertaining podcasts on the planet. What's up, Theo? Good to see you, brother. Aiden, Ro Aiden Ross in the house. All right, thank you, bro. Well. You. One of the more famous streamers in all of the world. Good to see them all on hand here in Las Vegas. The big boys are on the way. The Hawaiian hitman, Dan Viernes, back almost one year after his viral knockout of Slap for Cash. The super heavyweight says he has been hibernating 
Now he's hunting for the title that Ooh. currently resides with his big brother. The first step is taking care of business against Denver native Evian Scott, one of the youngest on the power slop roster at just 25 years old, a semi-pro football player and security guard. Scott was on the receiving end of one of the most huge slaps in the promotion's history. Now he's aiming to deliver some monster slaps of his own against the division's number one contender. Power Slap 7 is brought to you by Crypto.com. For a limited time, apply for a Crypto.com Visa card and get a free iPhone. Download the Crypto.com app today. By Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. By Power Slap Mobile. Download and play today to access new features and rewards. And by Estrella Jalisco. An authentic Cerveza Dorado and the official beer of Power Slap. Power Slap 7, the Bell versus Phillips is presented by Monster Energy, Unleash the Beast. The sun has gone down here in Vegas, but things are heating up inside the Apex with a super heavyweight match on deck. The super heavyweight striker rankings presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAT for 25% off of your order. The crazy Hawaiian is the champion. His younger brother, the Hawaiian hitman, Dane Biernes, is the number one contender. And he's taking on number five in the rankings here tonight, Evian Scott. It is number one against number five coming up and with the win. Evian Scott could jump the line. He won the toss and will get to slap first. These odds are presented by STN Sports. Download the new app today. The Hawaiian hitman, a minus 190 favorite over Scott. The top contender in the super heavyweight division, Dane Viernes, brings the heat every time he's on the power slap stage. So expect more of the same when the Hawaiian hitman collides with Evian Scott. As the newest division in the world of power slap, the super heavyweight class has captivated fans and produced a host of new stars. Two of them. Dane Viernes and Avian Scott square off on the power slap stage tonight with both jockeying for position and an eventual title opportunity. The key to beating Dane tonight is keeping composure, getting his head, and just come, come correct every time. No mistakes. What I'm about to do is um, lay him out flat, cold, get another TKO, get another reel that's um, you know all over everybody's feed live feed right there. A stunning knockout of Slap for Cash last May not only put Dane Viernes on the power slap map, but landed him in the number one contender slot at Super Heavyweight. And tonight, the Hawaiian hitman aims to keep his place at the top of the rankings intact by defeating Evian Scott. I'm coming for you, Evian. You better be ready, because I ain't playing no games. You big boy, but can you take what I got? I don't think so. 25-year-old Colorado native Avion Scott introduced himself to Power Slap fans with two fights on season two of Road to the Title. And now the water boy begins the next chapter of his career with the world watching as he battles Dane Viernes in a pivotal super heavyweight showdown. The point I'm trying to prove that makes me dangerous is that no matter what, no matter how strong you think you are, I'm not going to go down. You're not going to be able to knock me out. These fighter walkouts are brought to you by 10X Health Precision Nutrition Wellness. Go to 10xnutrition.com. Avion Scott, 25 years old, a semi-pro football player in Denver, Colorado. Says he's been working on speed and power after football practice with the Denver Sharks. The coach, Coach Sandman, is a big power slap fan, so he said he lets him work on the, the blocking dummies there in practice. And uh, so far, so good. He's looking for his first one in the promotion. Yeah, that's right. I said, what do you do for this? He said, well, you know, I play a lot of football. That's a very, very physical sport. Involves a lot of power, obviously. So yeah, focuses on a lot of that. Leaves 20 minutes early, goes to the gym, smacks the bag, hits the bomb. Coming into this one, very, very motivated. When he was asked 
what is the thing that you are most proud of? He said, the best thing that I ever done was help create my biggest motivation in life, and that is my children. That's a beautiful thing, and that's why he's here. He's made some mistakes in life, but he's looking to right the wrongs, but he's got a tough match up here. The Hawaiian hitman, his first match in almost a year, says he's been hibernating. Bears and future champions need their rest, he says. Comes from a tight-knit family. Of course, his brother's the champ, Charlie. Yeah, and if you hear lots of cheers, it's probably his family in the crowd. They are representing <laughs> loud. There, there they are. are. Look at them. Oh! I love this. This is amazing. Now, listen, his whole family, they live here in Vegas. They're locals. And Dewey and Hitman's job, listen to this. He works for a dispensary driving a shuttle. He picks people up from all over the city, including the airport, because sometimes when you land, you just need a little something something to get you by. He's there to help them accomplish that. Now, other than acting as this chauffeur, he's been working to rehab his dominant right hand that was injured in a car accident before he faced off against Slap for Cash last May. But at this point, Viernes considers his left hand his best long-term option for slapping because he says, just feels more natural at this point. He's gotten a lot stronger because he uses it all the time, including guys for driving the shuttle. Yeah, but the shuttle might deliver you know, a certain strain that puts people to sleep. Oh, this is all this, this is all you need to put somebody to sleep. This man has ridiculous knockout power. 365 pounds. Let's remind ourselves, made his debut against Slap for Cash. Slap for Cash came in thinking that this sport was his, that he was gonna be the king. He put him right in his place. It was a devastating blow. Hit him so hard, put him straight to sleep, and we never heard from Slap for Cash ever again. Dane Bjornes is a monster. The tale of the tape brought to you by Estrella Jalisco, an authentic Cerveza Dorado, and the official beer of Power Slap. These guys are absolute giants. Evian Scott is three inches taller, has a five inch reach advantage, and both tipping the scales at well over 350 pounds. The Hitman, by the way, with that 10 inch hand, second biggest hand on the card, perhaps one of the reasons that he is a minus 190 favorite. Let's send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap Super Heavyweight Division and presented by Power Slap Mobile. Download in the App Store or Google Play today. Introducing first in the blue corner, he stands six feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 355 and one half pounds. Out of Denver, Colorado, he is a number five ranked super heavyweight contender in the world. Avion, the water boy, Scott. And in the red corner, he stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 388 pounds. Out of Las Vegas, Nevada, he is the number one ranked super heavyweight contender in the world. Dane, the Hawaiian hitman, Fiernes. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Kerry Hadley. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Avion Scott. Hold up, bro. And remember, striking first doesn't always mean victory. It's about half the time, 49% of the time. This match is presented by Double Eagle back Injury up, back Law. Up, back up. Injured, slap back by visiting Double Eagle Injury right, Law go, man. today. Here we go, gentlemen. So can Dan Viernes take a go, shot Red. from somebody like Evian Scott? That's the real question. He took a shot from slap for cash, yeah, but I'll be honest, it wasn't a very good slap. Yeah, cool. And I think the power that we're gonna see on display between slap for cash okay, and Evian Scott is gonna toss. be very we'll go different. First, hand this count. man here is 360 pounds. Right hand on three, right hand on three, you must football, measure. Extremely powerful, and he's certainly gonna test the chin of the Hawaiian hitman. Oh, look at that, trying to get the hips That's into your it, like a good 
defensive lineman normally does. Let's see what kind of One, power Scott has. Two. Here we go. Oh, look at the face. Look at the oh, face. The face. The foul. 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 Oh, foul. Step. Stepping One foul. One point stepping. One point stepping. One point stepping blue. One point stepping. You got to keep your feet down. Let's take a look. Oh, just a baby step. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't the worst step I've ever seen. In fact, I wouldn't even call it a, little bit of time. a step. It was it, a bit of a pivot. It was a pivot with both feet. So it a rotation. needed to be called. Yeah, yeah it wasn't bad. But Don't sit there and shuffle your feet. Wow. You're good. Just plant it. Plant it. All right, you're good. And there's this so coach, Vernon you, Cathy, you letting him that know that what he did wrong. You need it. Huh? Okay. Yes, sir. Huh? So All right, you got a minute 20. On. You got a ah, minute 20. Whenever you're ready, on. let them know, okay? Whenever you're ready, he let them know. Take it. You know he can give it. That's a fight. Come on! Come on! First come on, time. Let's go! Back to the power slap table in nearly a year for the Hawaiian hitman. And you talked about it last time. When you're he was ready, here, you got a minute left. You got a minute left. Clobbered, slapped for cash. Right, I don't we go, know man. that we've heard we go, from boy. him or seen of him since then. Well, he's been okay, doing he everything he can to stay out of trouble. Take care of his family, maturing as a human being. Okay, Red. Hands He's really count. excited to be Red, here. Three. He respects Right Sebion hand on Scott. three for Red, right hand on three. He's you must very measure. confident. He took that shot a second ago relatively easily. Screamed, smiled, bit of showmanship. Family are in the building. <sighs> Second strongest neck in the house, season two, road to the two. title for Scott. Let's see here. Oh, that was a Heavy on Scott. Gonna be a long day. Here we go, Red. So a stepping I... foul on the Hawaiian hitman. Oh, come on. One point red it's a step stepping. Fast. One point Stop red stepping. stepping. One point red stepping. I'll tell you what. I, I'm just gonna say it. Considering that he stepped, that was a bit of a bitch okay. slap. Yeah, it, yes. He's a big man. I wouldn't want to take it, but Heavy on Scott was not concerned at all. He said it's going to be a long night. Well, Dave Bierness, it looked like when he connected, it was more fingers, less palm, which yeah. is really hard to do damage to somebody. Just the fingers. <laughs> so stepping foul on both strikers thus far. Here we go, Red. Heavy on Scott. Going to get his first slap of round two. Everyone's got very cool, calm, and collected. Fighter recovered. All right, here we go. Touch the table. Okay, Blue, be sure you're in the box. Hand and count. Right. So Bird Cathy right telling hand on keep three. Right hand on three. The feet Must measure. There's a measure. Look how far away he has to stand. Most guys One. are in that box right up on the table. Two. Oh, that's a good shot, though. You know, again. Good. Nice gamesmanship from the hitman. A little dance, he's not concerned. He wasn't wobbling. Right, clean strike, no step, no club right from Scott. But he take got his time. attention. He felt it. Yeah, fair blow. Hey, this time. <laughs> Look at the sweat. Through. The beads of sweat Follow coming through. off his head and the beard. But these super heavyweights, my right, gosh. Are they just now. so three. thick? The, the, it must be a 24 right, inch neck. Yes, Huge. I don't know, but it's it's big, yeah. There isn't much of a neck, to be honest. Yeah, it's almost just like head plopped on top Not of the shoulders. Yeah. All right, so. Fighter recovered. You want to see a little oh, more power on this. Dave Burness needs to make an adjustment count. here. He was a little right, bit out of range. Right hand on three, right hand on three, you must measure. The slot has to, you have to connect with the palm of the wow. hand as well. Two. Let's see. One. That's it. Oh, let's go. Stepping. Oh, another stepping, oh, stepping goal. Hold it steady. Five. Steady she Six. goes. Seven. There you go. Take a deep breath, buddy. Come this way. He's okay. Wow. You good? Go no, this way. Terry Hadley's putting it to the test. He is. That's an impressive recovery. 
got a foul. Stepping. Oh. oh. Another stepping One foul. Point. Stepping. Remember, One for point Hornets, red. Stepping. One it's his first red, fight in almost stepping. a year. One two rounds, red, two stepping. fouls from the Hawaiian hit me. Well, one more and you're going home a loser. But that was a shot. That 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 is it, actually. Because in a three-round fight, two fouls and you're out. I'm yeah. thinking three, but that's a five-round fight. That's a championship fight. Of course. Dane Viernes goes down. Evian Scott defeats the monster. The, the Hawaiian hitman. Yeah, that was a bad step as well. Clear as day. So it's going to be interesting to see what Dana and Hunter and Frank and these guys decide to do in the power slap rankings because of the way that Avion Scott won. But he, Listen, he wins by DQ, but he just took down the number one contender. A win is a win, regardless of whether or not it was a disqualification or whatever. Officially, it's a win. He should take the ranking. Plain and simple. No matter how he wants, even with the DQ, he should go up to the number one contender spot. Without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. The man just beats him in a fair match. He was declared the winner. It's not his fault that Vieron has stepped, that he fouled, that he got disqualified. Well, we've seen a couple of DQ victories tonight. Tonight's. Been a fun one as it always is, but you can see the frustration on Dane Viernes' face. Tonight's decision is presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order. Let's send it to Justin Bernard to make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kerry Hatley calls a stop to the match in round number two, declaring the winner by disqualification Avion, the water boy, Scott! So Avion Scott, the winner because of the DQ from the Hawaiian hitman. Obviously some disappointment there with his family and friends in the house for Dane Viernes, but Avion Scott will likely climb the super heavyweight rankings. The most impressive thing is that Scott would have been able to recover if it wasn't for the DQ. Tonight's recovery tonight brought to you by Slate Milk. Fuel up with Slate's delicious high protein drinks. Slate makes you strong. Here's another look. Uh, and look at the leg shake. The hand, he was frozen, he was, but he gets up quick. And then he stands there, focuses, Five, thinks about it. Six. Doesn't step too soon. Seven. And regardless, if he was declared unconscious, or sorry, out, he would have won anyway. But that was re incredible recovery. We got a foul, too. We got a foul. Stepping. Yeah, that was absolutely remarkable. Tonight's Power Slap Celeb Camp brought to you by What's Arsenal up, Strength. How are you doing? What's Shout up, to brother? Dana White. Shout out to Power Slap Friday night, 6 p.m. We're on Rumble. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. If you can't beat it, join it. And I'm here. Thank you for having me. That sketch, oh, the Twitch awesome. streamer. Everybody's saying, what's up, brother? Special team, special plays, special players. Let's go, sketch. You can win a custom set of new UFC gloves. There's only 25 of these in existence in UFC president Dana White, giving away three of them right here tonight. Go to powerslap.com slash sweepstakes to enter. Make sure you use the code PS7 new gloves, all one word. PS7 new gloves for 10 additional entries. These locker room shots are brought to you by Brick House Nutrition. Build better nutrition one brick at a time at BrickHouseNutrition.com. He may look like a good old boy from Arkansas, which he is, but Ron Beta is also the most decorated slap fighter in the history of the promotion. The man they call Wolverine, all business, and he's looking not just to win, but to make a statement against Austin Turpin. Turp Daddy Slim seems to forget the latter part of his nickname while preparing for this fight. Missing weight by 15 pounds, but he still has a chance to make amends and avenge, uh, avenge the only loss on his record in a rematch with Wolverine tonight. 
Austin Turpin won the coin toss, but forfeits the opportunity to go first after missing weight, so it's the champ who gets the first swing in our co-main event. One of the best in the game, pound for pound, light heavyweight champ Ron Wolverine Beta got put to the test by Austin Turpin last October, and tonight, the 205-pound star meet once again. Austin Turpin, he is the biggest personality in Power Slap. Wolverine, first two division champ in Power Slap history. Look at the damage on Turpin's face. We've never seen him like this. Two absolute warriors are now for the official decision. Still. I don't really think I'm different than anybody else. I mean, I'm just me. I just show up. I do my job. I ain't changing. I'm humble. I'm nice. If you want to support the guys who want to act like jackasses, that's up to you. But I'm going to be the same guy. It's important for me to make a statement with a knockout this matchup because everybody's pushing for Turpin, but he loses twice to the champion. This time he's knocked out. He's done after that. I'm Turp Daddy Slim, and I'm the baddest out there on the slap stage. I'm just a ball of energy, a cannonball of energy, just fired out of a rocket. I got iron in my blood, and I'm hungry pain. I love to get out there and make people feel me. When Rhonda hit me for the first time, I had thought a pigeon had just flew by and on my cheek or something. Rhonda ain't got what it takes to beat me. Tonight, I think my performance will go down as the night Rhonda retires. I'm about to step my foot in the ground and start my reign as the light heavyweight champion. I'm not happy about the match, but I'll be ready for it. You're going to see me being calm, taking control, and coming out with the W. I'm gonna take my time, every hit's gonna be precise. It's gonna be a good matchup for me. I'm gonna make him put the belt around me again. When I walk out there on that stage, it's gonna be a one and done, it's gonna be an early match. He's gonna get the shot he got on the fifth round on the first round. I'm gonna knock his head off his shoulders. You're gonna see Turp Daddy Slim, the light heavyweight champion. Fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X Health, Precision Nutrition Wellness. Go to 10xnutrition.com. Austin Turf Daddy, not so slim this week. Missed weight by 15 pounds. He said he's glad they didn't send him home. Coming off his first loss to Wolverine in the title fight last October, gets the rematch here tonight. Said he was too fancy, too cute in that fight. Going back to Raw Dog Turp Daddy Slim in this one. Yeah, listen, as we know, he failed to make weight this week. He's fired up, though. He's still being the typical showman. I was very surprised when he failed to make weight. He's a big star. He's one of the breakouts. He's got knockout power. He can take a great shot. Of course, he lost last, last time against Ron Beta. And he owns that. He said, listen, I clearly lost. You know, he said, I, if I had another round, maybe he would have got the knockout. But he said, I tried some new stuff. I tried to be fancy. But listen, he said, it is what it is. I get another shot. And this time, he's coming to take the head of Ron Beta. The reality is, Listen, this is a very, very close matchup. Ron Bates of the Wolverine, extremely experienced, but Austin Turpin, even though he missed weight, he said, I changed my diet, I've got stronger, I've been training full time. Anthony Lionheart Smith in the house. He's been a streamer and a podcaster himself. He is with you. He has a big podcast. Incredible. It's the best mixed martial arts podcast on planet Earth. What do they call it again? Believe you me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have Austin Turpin on and ask him how I miss weight by 15 pounds. Listen, when you're losing weight and getting stronger, but you miss weight by 15 pounds. That's weird. How do you do that? I don't know. But the fact of the matter is he's here, and he has a chance to make amends, maybe not to make things totally Come right, on, but to get Let's the biggest go. win of uh -huh. his career Get your ass out here, Ronda!
the champion, Wolverine. Not a man of many words, but he is a badass. The first two division champ in power slap. He is three and one in the promotion, 14 and four. Overall, the 33-year-old from Mountain Home, Arkansas, has been delivering building supplies, getting those hands nice and calloused up for years. Got married in March, has a blended family now of five kids, so he is a busy man. Yeah, he is, and he's also an angry man. He's pissed off that this fight is even happening in the first place. He said, I've beaten him once. Since when does the number one contender that loses the match get an immediate rematch? I said, well, actually, it happens quite a lot sometimes. Now, he feels that it's because of the popularity of Austin Turpin that he's getting the match. He feels there's a bit of favoritism at play. I think he's being a little bit paranoid. The reality is, though, Ron Bater, the Wolverine, is a serious dude. It's not often you see him smile, OK? But if he gets the job done and he gets the knockout, we might see him crack a little bit of a smile. As I said earlier tonight at the start of the show, he's predicting that he's going to put him to sleep. Last time out, he said he tried a few new things. He said he tried to be mad, he tried to be angry. This time, he's just going to do what he normally does. Go out there and try to slap the face off. Mild manner. Back to his old self is Wolverine here tonight. The tail of the tape brought to you by Estrella Jalisco, an authentic Cerveza Dorado, and the official beer of Power Slap. Wolverine, five years older, one inch taller, a hefty five inch reach advantage, and slightly larger hands as well. This is a pickup between Wolverine and Austin Turpin. Was initially a title fight. A title fight no more after Turpless missed weight. Here is Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a co-main event of the evening. Set for five rounds in the Power Slap Heavyweight Division and presented by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. Introducing first in the blue corner, he stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 222 pounds, out of Jacksonville, Florida, Austin Turk, Daddy Slip Turpin. And in the red corner, he stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in officially at 209 and one half pounds. Out of Mountain Home, Arkansas, he is the undisputed Power Slap Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Wolverine! Come on, let's go! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Wolverine. Rumble bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. So we know the storyline here. Turpin missed weight by 15 pounds, which is more than egregious. It's unheard of in combat sports. He won the toss, but he forfeit the right to go first after missing weight. So Wolverine gets the first shot. And he told you and I both about an hour ago, a couple hours ago, that this oh, oh look at that. Look at that for a wind up. Oh, that is new. That's different. Let's have a look. Oh, 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 oh. He stumbled him a little Fair bit. Low. Oh, yeah. He's confused him. Stay here, stay here with him. Yeah, I'll be honest, he confused me. We've never seen that. that. Like a velociraptor. Come on. Come on. Hey, let's go back up there. 20 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Ready? Ricky, we'll turn it up here. He's fucking back. Oh, he walked away. He's Solid away. shot. Hey. Hey, let's make that fucking money. Let's yeah. make that money. Look at that. That's a beautiful shot. That's a proper slap. Go, go, go. Now, Austin Turpin, he's known to deliver a good slap himself. Massive power, plenty of knockouts to his resume. He's got the attitude. He's also got the weight. I'm telling you, an extra 15 pounds, that is going to help. You said here, what hand and what yeah, count? He's definitely right looking three. a little right thicker. Right on three. He's looking you a said, little thicker. Sir. Striker set. 
Right on three. Get a little right shimmy shake. Measure, 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 measure. You measure, he calls it the bearded right bitch. Yeah, yeah. He says that the beard time, time. hides the chin. Mirag, mirag. When do you think the last time? Hold on, hold on. Why the wife hit the chalk okay. off the beard? I think measure, he was messing measure, with it a little right? bit. We're not groping. We're not doing anything else. We're measuring. Ready? Yeah, <laughs> said here. You're not groping. You ready here? Bro, I ain't here to grow. Three, right, right. Okay. You're set. Measure. Oh Let's go, goodness. Austin Terpy. Give him a little grow. Go for it. You'll one. be all right. You're going to warn oh, him. He's still. That's your measure. He's feeling. He wants to know where the chin is. Because to be honest, that beard, one. it is a big distraction. Two. Here we go. Ah. Oh, my God. Look at all the hair that came off in that beard. When's the last time oh, that there. Wolverine trimmed the beard? I would insist that the beard Same went. fucking thing that happened He's last saying time, man. It's a club. He's trying He's to doing. highlight the mark on the neck. But that's why, according to Jason Herzog, he gave him a little throw. Thing. You good on your eyes and stuff? He you got anything on you? He wants to feel where the bloody chin yeah, is. Yeah. All right. I don't know you when know the last time he got a, Come on. it officially Come cut on. was, but Turk gave him a little okay. trip there. That's Look at all that hair flying off. You club off. them here. You need to take the shots up here. Make sure that they're right here, not here, okay? Understood. All right? Yes, sir. So no more low blows, all right? Okay. All right. That's a, that's a, a club. Did Warning. you see a low blow? Right. right. It's hard to tell, right? One point clubbing. One point clubbing. One point clubbing. All right? Keep those things high. You're not going to do a strike, okay? Uh, it really is hard to see exactly where the chin is with the beard. I mean, you can make an educated guess, though. I'm going to say it's just about level with the mouth. You the, know what I'm saying? The, You're just ever so slightly underneath the mouth. That would be the jaw area. Well, historically, that's where it's been on humans. I would agree with you, yes. Yeah. But I just it's just hard. I guess that was a little low. Some people have a bigger jaw, though. Some people have a square jaw. Some oh, people have a desperate Dan okay. jaw. Let us know when you're what ready. is that? It, you don't know what desperate Dan is? No. Oh, that must be an English oh, comic book. I, definitely. Desperate Dan, he has a big old jaw. The beanie? Yeah, yeah. I, no. Oh, Over it's, my an, head. it's an English thing, sorry. Yeah, definitely yeah. English. Check it out. <laughs> Look at that neck on Turpin. One hand and one count. Right on three. Right on three. You, uh, Got that big old fold in the back. There's right really no three. neck. You set? Desperate Dan had Start a massive set. jaw. Hold okay. on a second. You got to put your hand, your foot in the box, in the box, all the way more, a little bit more, a little bit more, just kidding. All right, right so listen, let's remember just that touch. first slot of the Wolverine. Massive impact. The shit kickers got a good grip of that canvas. Delivered a good slap. There it One. is. One over the top. Two. Boom. Oh, the spit flying out of Turpin's mouth. Hey, remember yeah. the last fight, his eye blew up a little hey, bit. Hey, take it. Take that. Take that. Get that energy. I think it's a little damaged here. Yeah, baby. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Kind of rake that finger across hey, that hey. left eye. Fair blow, though. Don't go until now 20. Eight. Don't go until 20. Fucking look the at last him. Fight. Look at him. Look at him the whole time. Look at him. Austin Turk had started doing better the longer the fight went. Rounds four and five. That's when he started to wobble the Wolverine. So a bit of a slow starter last time. Get a little higher. Get a little and higher. Seems to be this time as well. But look at the eye swelling up big time. I mean, look, listen. If the Wolverine is saying that he went low, if you look at the mark of the eyes, right on three. He can make the argument that right one's going on high. One, two. Oh. He's Six, up, but he's wobbly. Seven. He's got the thumbs up. It's like, you ain't good until I say you're good. You're good. Oh, so Jason Herzog. Quick with the good. Good time. Good that is good. Breathe in. Breathe wow. in. So Wolverine, look at me. just the look second time he has been right. knocked down. He's never been knocked out. That was close. Right, you got 30 seconds. Get some good breaths in right now, OK? I know that was that a good was one. That was a great that was shot. Good. Perfect. That was a good right one. the money. It didn't look good for a second there. I thought it was over. Nice recovery by Will Green as Jason Herzog has allowed him to continue. You see, he had his little finger up there. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm good. It's done. It's like, mate, listen. You get 10 seconds. You set? I would encourage them not to walk and to wait until that 10 seconds are up. Right on three. 
Striker set right on three. Here's a look at your scorecard. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's clearly obvious. Wolverine drops one. in one, Turpin in two. two, and here we go for three. Oh. That's a solid one, but just eaten like it was nothing by Austin Turpin. And perhaps a clean shot by Turp Daddy could mean night, night Wolverine. I just got to say, look at the energy of Austin Turpin. He's playing to the crowd. He's coming alive. I feel over, over that this seconds. next shot here, seconds. we seconds. might see a knockout. If you want to keep the hey, title, so so it's going to change so hands. So Would so it be advantageous for him to, to go on there. one, just to go there. quickly, do a measure on one and go? No. I, but just, and by the no. way, just a quick correction. No, because if he knocks him out and fouls him, no. he's disqualified. Okay. You're right. No. Go. Go. You said. You said. You said. You said here. So he's got to take his time in. The Wolverine, listen, right that was a nasty blow. Is he fully recovered? Set, Probably right not. Three. It's like on a video game, you know, when the bar is going down, it's recovering. It's not all the way up, though. This could be it. This could be good night. This could be the title changing hands. One, two. Oh. Wolverine stunned, stumbled slightly. Eats it, could be a club. Time. And it's time. not a title fight, by the way, as well. Remember, it's they missed it. Yeah, so they're fighting a heavyweight. Was it initially going to be a title fight? It's not now. You miss weight by 15 pounds, you don't get a fight for a title. Oh, that was low. That was, that was below the fucking chain. That was below the chain. But, I, but that was like right in the middle. That wasn't way too high, way too far back or nothing. That's like fucking square. I'll be honest, that looks okay to me. What do you think? I agree with you. I, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, the beard is a strategic advantage. I, I don't well, know. That, I don't know. You don't, I, in terms I think of that's the way it lands? I think that's the way he lives his life. Well, hey, calm down. We're looking at it. Looking that at looked it. fair hey. to me. I think it was a fair blow. Right. It's a club. Hey, hey, you know what a clean, you know what a clean strike is. Just do a clean strike. No more fouls here. Okay? Look at the Put size. A clean strike on him, right where it belongs. You know how to do it. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. We're gonna take this point. You're gonna go out here and do a clean strike after that. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. So it is gonna be called the clubbing foul. One point wow. clubbing. One, One point, point deduction. Clubbing. One point clubbing. That's okay. crazy. So remember, this is a five-round fight. So one more foul for Turpin, and it's over. I'm not a referee. I'm just a man. You're more than a man. And I, I'm a man with one eye. Uh, and that one eye saw a fair blow. I, I agree with you. What does a man with two eyes say? I see a fair blow. So between the three, the three eyes, eyes that we have, the three eyes are better than two. <laughs> the referee is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's a look at the scorecard. <laughs> A couple of 10 8s for Wolverine because of the penalties. How you doing here, Ron? How you doing, Ron? You got time. I'm leaving. He's good. I've been tracking time. We're good. All right, so Ron's taking his time. Has over a minute of recovery time left because of the foul. Yeah, exactly. You got to milk it because yeah. in round two, he was badly hurt. Now, yeah, you're still up by three, two at this point. You're still up foul. by two. He took it well. <laughs> Still you some come decent back, though. impact, you come back. though. You're not, you're not, nothing sounds funky, you're talking just fine. Just like oh, in MMA. Not, if you get kicked in the groin or whatever, you got five that's minutes. That's you might as well take all the time. You got it, you just go in there and land clean on it. It's a smart move. Most don't okay, generally 36. do that, yeah, right? Because you're so eager and anxious to get back out there. You're out, the adrenaline's flowing, you got a crowd here, everyone's screaming and cheering you on, you want to get back to it. You want to be the big man. Slow it down. All right, you got Use 20. The brain. 22. You got 22 now. Use the good. power of the beard. And let's Second. see what the power of the beard can do here. Five Wolverine five in five round four, striking first. Okay. One hand, one count. Right on three. Strikers. Right on three. Right on three. One. Two. Oh, black hand. Rock of the whip. He can't get enough.
enough power this, this. to really phase Turpin. I feel like his first shot in the first round was the best one. By far the best shot. Round two and three, he took it so well. Okay. Did it phase him one little bit? Yeah, it made a nice sound. Yeah, echoed around the room. It was a fantastic shot, but Austin Turpin has a chip. Okay. Get Turpin this. does a nice job receiving these shots. It was a clean strike. It was a good strike. But Turpin doesn't move. He doesn't budge. Go, go, go. But we, one more set? foul. And it's over. Set. Even if he knocks him out. I mean, Arm if he knocks him right out, he's definitely. On three. If he fouls right him, on three. a loss. But if he fouls him regardless, it's a loss. But by the one, same token, he has to do some damage two. here. He's down. He's got a knock foul. And he's down. He's a little wobbly now. Yeah, just a wee bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fair blow. Jason Herzog is quick to say you're good. No offense, brother. Fair blow. Because I'm going to get a text when he watches this back. Make way. How's that sound? Fair. Yeah, make way. Oh, All day. Oh. John Davis, the coach, talking a little smack to Austin Turner. What's that? In the same spot. The, same the spot. coach is oh, mixing it up. losing it. They're not looking. They're John not looking. Davis, got the seconds. machine. Got 20, got 20 seconds. All right, here's your scorecard. So it. this this is a big one. It's only one that last round. It's a one-point advantage. I know. It's like you still off by one. You got 10 seconds. You got 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go, Brad. Come on. Eight, seven, six. Shoulders down, Wolverine. Can ill afford a foul here. As you have him up by one on your scorecard. Yeah, he fouls here. It's going to be pretty much even going into round five unless he knocks him out. Right on three. Right on three. Let's see if he can get a little more juice now here. Last time, going as the five progressed, his power diminished. Two. He's trying a new technique. He's trying to oh, swing it around and stuff like Fair that. Blow. It's not resulting in maximum power. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. love the measure and the over the top and then coming underneath, but it was a clean, fair hey, clean blow. To win, clean to win, clean and to win. And now we are going into the 10th round. We are in the 10th round of don't this rivalry. This Two five about it. round matches. Last one was a up, unanimous Go in decision Go in win. Going at 20. By Wolverine. Okay. Go, go, go. If you look at the body language between the two of them, the fresher guy certainly seemed like Austin Turpin. However, Wolverine Set. typically stoic, Set to be here. fair. Set. What hand and what count? Right on three. Right on oh. three. Right Turpin right didn't really three. have to worry about cutting the weight, right? Had a couple of pizzas, a couple of cheeseburgers, and weighed in 15 pounds heavy. Wolverine. One. Yeah, he did make the weight. Two. Final slot. Oh. Oh, he's down. See if that's a clean blow. Three, Second time Wolverine four, has been sat down here today. Well, he's very wide. He's going back down again. That's it. Not it's over. Oh. Not gonna make the count. Kirk not gonna make the count. Daddy, not gonna make the count. High drive back and forth. Bananas talking a sketch in the audience. What's up, brother? Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. Let's take a look at this one here. This was the final blow. Look at that. Almost headbutts the table. Tries to catch himself. Falls back. Plants on his ass. Gets up. Makes it back to his feet and then wobbles again and falls. Look at that, straight through, on the money. Not high, not low, a fair blow. Straight through the beard, puts him on his ass, like I said, and he was trying. He was fighting to get back to his feet, and he did. He got up, but then he fell back down, and then that was it. And there it is, there's a favorite move. Oh. Turp Daddy doing the Humpty Hump. Wow, what a week it has been for that guy. You know, we didn't Lock even mention your We didn't even mention the fact that he got married since his last fight, he bought a house since his last fight, and he missed weight by 15 pounds since his last fight.
the man's a showman. The man's a winner, of course. Victorious here. And he's going to be an immediate rematch now. They're going to do it again, I would assume, for the belt, like they were supposed to do tonight. So let's look. Goes forward, almost headbutts, falls back, fights, finds the will to get back to his feet, gets up. He's like, whoa, I'm good. I'm good, ref. I'm, whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, oh, I'm good. Is that, come on, just give me a second. Give me a Honor. second. I'm good. Thank you. Ref's like, no, buddy, that's it. Game over. Go home. You're done. Tonight's decision yeah, presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code yeah. SLAP for 25% off your order. Here is Justin Bernard to make it official in our co-main event. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match in round number five, declaring the winner by TKO Austin Turk Daddy. Yes, sir. God is good. God is good, baby. Turk got a deal. Real motherfucking squeal. Yes, sir. Like a cutoff stocking, baby. I stay rocking. Tonight's. 10 count replay brought to you by 10X Health Precision Nutrition Wellness. Go to 10xnutrition.com. Austin Turpin becomes the first man to knock out Wolverine in his 19th slap fight. Ron Beta not only sat down, but he is knocked out. What a crazy week it has been for Turp Daddy Not So Slim. Well done, Austin Turpin, but we gotta say, not without a little controversy. Let's remember, and I'm not making excuses, Ron Beta did make weight hit the 205 pound mark. Austin Turpin, what, came in at 220, a massive advantage, didn't cut the weight, and came in heavier. Turp Daddies with Charlie Arnold now. All right, here with the winner, Austin Turpin. Now, Austin, before we get into the win, the details of it, we need to address the missed weight. You are 15 pounds over. Tell me what happened. Why'd that happen? I mean, it was a, it was a learning lesson for me. Mistakes happen, you know, Ronda's still a bitch, so it is what it is, you know. Actually, matter of fact, while well, I got you all here, Ronda's a good dude, he took the match because I missed weight. So I just want to say shout out to Ronda. And uh, it is what it is, it's a learning lesson for me, so maybe next time you guys get to see Turk Daddy Slim with a six pack, don't bring your girlfriend into the, in the arena, so. Y'all want me to lose weight, y'all better watch out with them females. Well, is that the plan, are you gonna lose the weight? Do you hope to compete again at light heavyweight? Yeah, oh yeah, light heavyweights is my zone right now. I mean, if they give, whoever they give me, I mean, they can give me some brand new guy from fucking uh, Russia or wherever. I don't give a fuck who they give me. I'm a dog, I'm gonna eat, so I'm, I'm gonna say yes to whatever. I might even go on a fucking diet and you might see your boy with a six pack and weighing 185 pounds for a couple of days. That would be interesting. Uh, now let's talk about the victory. You got a knockout, you knocked down Wolverine for just the second time in his entire career. How do you rate your performance? Uh, that was decent, it was decent. You know, um, it would have been a lot better if I would have made weight because I would have been wearing a strap right now. But, you know, Ron took the match because he's a competitor. You know, he, he loves to do it, he loves to get down with me. So um, I, I'm, I'm very thankful that he did that, you know, but uh, I'm a dog, so. Mm. Well, you had a couple of fouls early. Made yeah. some adjustments. Yeah. What was going on in your mind that you knew you had to change in order to finally get the knockout you were looking for? Well, it just, I mean, fuck, it's a lot going on up there. So I'm just starting to, I'm just a fucking good old white boy from Jacksonville, Florida. You know, I'm not used to, I mean, I'm, I'm used to a Kodak camera. You know, that's about as fancy as I get. You know, you got to wind the motherfucker after you take a picture. So all these lights, cameras, Cowboy Cerrone, fucking all these crazy fancy people, it just throws me off a little bit. But you know, the swamp, the, the swamp's starting to run out of me a little bit, and I'm getting some of these, uh, getting used to these lights. So I'm ready, man. I'm excited. It was awesome. All right, well, if you hope to return to light heavyweight, we know the guy that still has the belt. You were just on, standing I across. On, I might go on a diet and, and take out the fucking sleeper, the dude who don't ever want to fucking slap the 185 champion. I don't even want to say his name, because that'll be the most anybody's heard his name in the last fucking 
God knows how long, but I might go on a diet and take the 185 up, but, you know. Well, John Davis is out there. Would, is there something you'd like to say to him right now? Ron Dav John Davis, you don't want none of me, dog. Uh, I mean, you don't want none of me, little pussycat boy. I'm a fucking real dog, Rottweiler. Something that, uh, it's, I got that motherfucking, uh, I got that dog me, the real dog. Not no, I ain't playing about none of that bullshit. So I might go on a diet, you might see me with a six pack or I might come back with that tank again. But, you yeah. know. Well, the man is full of surprises. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Turpin. Guys, back to you. Come on, come on baby. Five and three. All right, on thank you, Charlie. That post-fight interview brought to you by 10X Health. Precision Nutrition Wellness. Go to 10xnutrition.com. Certainly not the last we have seen of Turp Daddy not so slim. Tonight's locker room cam brought to you by Brickhouse Nutrition. Build better nutrition one brick at a time at BrickhouseNutrition.com. Future lawyer Davey Nobel never seems to break a sweat. And now the man with one of the most powerful slaps in the sport, ready to defend his title for the second time. Coming off the first round knockout of Nate Bernard, Nobel's confidence has never been higher. Confidence has never been a problem for Ryan Phillips. He's returning the power slap from a torn bicep. The king of kings won two straight and thrust himself in the title contention a win tonight. Phillips will be wearing the power slap heavyweight crown. It's all going down right here in the mecca of the fight game, Las Vegas, Nevada. Power slap seven, the belt versus Phillips is presented by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. Breaking news, we can now share the date for power slap eight. It's coming up on June 28th, right here in Las Vegas, live and free on Rumble. We will release more information as it happens. And for the final time tonight, let's bring the table up to its proper position. The challenger, Ryan Phillips, won the toss and will strike first. He is a plus 190 dog to the champion, Damian Dubbell. In just three trips to the power slap stage, Damian DeBell has proven to not just be the best heavyweight on the roster, but one of the top fighters in the world. Tonight, Ryan Phillips has a chance to take his title. Damian DeBell, they call him The Bell, the youngest fighter on the card, just 21 years old. The guy has some serious power. I think the thing that sets me apart from any other fighter it's just my pure will to have fun when I'm up there. Whenever someone stands in my way, I go through them. I think it really just shows I'm a champion for a reason, and I'm going to continue proving myself as a champion of this sport. My last fight was against Nate to defend my belt, and it just so happened that all it took was that one hit. Honestly, I'm waiting for a great opponent to bring out my best, and I hope Ryan Phillips is that opponent. different because I'm the most entertaining heavyweight and the most entertaining fighter that anyone has ever seen in Power Slap. I'm the history maker, I'm in kill mode, I'm gonna terminate, and I'm gonna hurt the person that's across that table. I knew the second that this sport was announced, as soon as I got that call, I knew I was gonna be a star. I just wanna put on an entertaining, energetic performance. I wanna get up there, I wanna blow your minds. I'm gonna show you complete chaos, rage, power, and I'm gonna show you the chin of granite. Cause no one's knocking me out and I'm gonna knock the bell out as soon as I get the chance. I see tonight being a test of wills and a test of heart. And that bell is coming home with me to Cleveland and it's gonna be staying with me for a very long time. I'm just gonna go and do everything I can to stop him from even touching that bell. I think it's gonna be a big game of how many hits can you take before he falls down. I'm getting that performance check, I'm getting that belt, I'm getting the glory, and I am the king. Baby. 
Listen, he's a sales a administrator for King the Gordon King Group, King overseeing 4,000 accounts. He has an actual job. He has to show up to it and manage people. Right, and here long. he is on the cusp of a power slap championship, which he has been dreaming about for a long, long time. He said, this fight isn't going to go past two rounds. In the first round, he's going to ring ding it. In the second round, he's going to ding dong it. That's what he said. <laughs> ring ding dong. Give me a song. Come on. Give me a bar. Listen, I, this I man. I have no bars for you. I know, friend. I know. Thank God. Listen, this man's a showman walking out there with the crown. He feels like this is just a four miles. He feels that he's going to go right through it. He said, listen, Austin Bernard, sorry, Nate Bernard, pardon me, that was his last opponent. He feels that Nate Bernard is better than David DeBell. The only problem with that is, is that David DeBell beat Nate Bernard as well in a title defense. The reality is, though, this man, Ryan Phillips, very experienced, excellent kid, massive power, and a chance for him to finally become the heavyweight champion. Coming in off back-to-back -back wins What's is up? Ryan Phillips getting a title shot here tonight for the first time in his career. is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dallas Hahn, and Executive Director Jeff Mullen. Our judge at stage side are Tim Cheatham, Junichiro Camillo, and Chris Miglior. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening from the sold out Power Slap Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the millions watching around the world on Rumble. This match is five rounds for the Power Slap Heavyweight Championship of the World and presented by Rumble Bold and Free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. Introducing first in the blue corner, he stands six feet tall, weighing in at 255 and one half pounds. Out of Lorraine, Ohio, he is a number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world. Ryan, the king of kings. And in the red corner, 
He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 248 and one half pounds. Out of Ruskin, Florida, he is the undisputed power slap heavyweight champion of the world, Damien the Bell. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Chappie Smith. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Ryan Phillips. Gentlemen, to the center. Hard to bill, waist up against, chin out, hold that position, okay? All right, Ryan, first lap, what's your hand, what's your count? Right off three. All right, you must measure right on three. Both of these men coming off knockout That's wins measure. over Nate Bernard. Phillips will swing first. One, two. He's never got it done in one, though. And he still has it. Not the best shot. Okay. Good Not slap. Much sound. Good slap. Technically. Wasn't the best slap we've seen on night, let's be honest. Too crazy. Just the fingers we've definitely the seen Did better from like Ryan Stick. Phillips. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right, remember, it's a five round seconds. fight. I was going to say right. the same thing. All right. We think alike, man. We've been doing this together. Yeah, hey, I'll tell you what. Well, he's Listen, it. Hold that position. Damien DeBell, up. just massive power. Up. And DeBell's never been up. knocked out. I mean, look at the size of the guy 255 pounds, Recover. extremely thick. Not the tallest, count. only six right foot hand. two. Three. A big guy, don't get me wrong, but he's right not ridiculously on three. tall. That's big right jaw, right. strong Let's neck. Go. And this man can pack a punch One or a slap. Two. Two. You see that deep breath? And he kind of turtles up a little bit. Yeah. I think that's hey, a 10 9 for the belt, though. Get the fucking energy. You got that's it. The best Jimmy, strike. Clean, clean. I feel it. But that one right there, solid 20 shot. seconds. I want you back up there. 20 seconds. I agree. Okay. You see the way it goes all the way. Let him through. think. Let him think. You always want to hit through the target. <laughs> Damien DeBell right, back Ryan. in the receiving position. Ryan. Ryan Phillips seconds, with a go. little showmanship for the go, cameras before go, he go. steps Setting to the position. power slap table. Go. Recover. Hand count. Right on three. Must measure. Right hand on three. That's your measure. All right, so as I say, I think he lost round one. one. He's going to do better Two. here. I don't think that's it. I don't think it's it either. I mean, it, it was a power Time. strike. You love it. Weak as was shit. it? The, the bell certainly. He didn't shit. enjoy that feel like it. Was high? Feel like it was high. But it okay. wasn't. Good so like it was an earth shattering right, blow. All right. You know I think he was a little high. You're flowing right now. You're flowing. I've been able to call that a club. And the foot comes up Good a little slap. bit. All day, baby. All day. That's what I'm saying. Call the clean slap. Easy, easy, easy. But you're not hearing Keep the, the same type Keep of sound. Like some of these slaps in here in the apex sound like a gunshot. Okay. Sound like a gunshot. Sound like when, you know when you take your belt off and you're half it. Yep. To, to scare the kids. Yeah, like you're just... Or, I do that all the time to scare my kids. I'll say you do. Yeah. 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 Kind of scare me when you do that. Oh. You must measure right Don't hand that. on three. <laughs> That's your measure. Amy DeBell, second round, second slap One, in this title fight. Two. Another oh, big yeah. inhale, Ryan Phillips good calling slap. for a club. Claiming low That's block. A good slap. Good slap. Goes into the conference room with Burn Cathy. I know, who cares? Let's go. Okay. Exactly. Hey, As Burn says, who cares? Shot. Let's go. He said makes this happen. Okay. Come on, we're not we're not here to bitch about it. Let's fucking get this okay shit. to me. I mean, yeah, he's got big hands. Okay, so the yes. fingers connect. Yeah, 34 with the seconds. The fingers are long. All right, ready? But hey, hey. Well, there, there, there's not happen. much of a neck there right on Ryan Phillips right. like a lot of these right foot. Go, guys now, go. are a little bit squatty like go. Austin Turpin. Hold your position. Hand count. Neither man has really made much of an right impact in terms of damage right now. I still have the bell winning. That's your measure. You know, round one and round two. Going into round three, no one's really been stumbled, wobbled. 
particularly visibly hurt. That was better. That might have Oh, to the eye. They call here. He's Come on. rushing Good it off. Good slap. Good slap. Come on, might what? have been the chalk of the eye. You got it in your eye? Yeah. Fuck. All right, I'm going to wipe around your face. You you doubt you got 40 seconds, so you're good. Oh, that was you high. Wipe your eye out. Yeah, I think, I think I saw that correctly. Oh. Time. There we go. All right, they're pausing it. It's paused right now. So you're good. Take your time with it. You're good. They're, oh. they're going to review. We have a foul. Clubbing. Yep. yep. There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was very high. It was pretty much One point. Clubbing. To the eye. One point. Clubbing. So, One point. Clubbing. He's lost both he, rounds. Well, he's Ryan. lost all three rounds now right because behind, of the okay. foul, right? Yeah, if you say he's won the first two, I'm talking about the bell yeah. won the first two. He hasn't yeah. slapped yet in round three. No, I know. But he's won the first. Right. The bell won the okay. first two rounds. Right. So a clean slap here and he wins the third round. Medical yeah. timeout. It's no bueno right now for Ryan Phillips. It's all not right. going well. I think they're going to take a look at the bell's eye. So Damien DeBell, when he started in power slap, you got plenty of time. used his winning to get lacing. Yep. And then had to sit out for yeah, a while good. to let the surgery he heal. He said he's good. And no longer has to wear the glasses. And Here, contact says fuzzy, that's been a life-changing okay. thing for him at just 22 years Let's old. Go. And as somebody who's had LASIK himself, I can tell you it's magic. It's magical well, not to have to put those contacts in. Must be amazing having perfect vision, Dan. Injury clock. There's a lot of things Good. perfect about me, Mike. Right. I'll share them with well, you later. Well, you know, rub it in my face, why don't you? Let's <laughs> get set where he's touching. That one Recover. eye you have is a very good one yeah, eye. Right. It's, it's not. Right, hand, <laughs> right hand on three. You must measure. Here we go. All right. One. Two. A little bit bigger. Yeah, wake up a, call. That was a better shot. So I'll good slap. I said the bell now won all three rounds plus the point deduction for the foul for Ryan hey, Phillips. This next one, you ten eight round fucking foot plan for sure. A ten eight round. Herzog's gonna fucking call it. Thirty twenty six. I would say it is on the score card after okay. three rounds. Hey, hey, ten right. nine, ten nine. Watch that fucking ten, eight. foot. Keep it down. Good clean slap from yeah, Damien DeBell. Yeah, you do have to give yes, Phillips yes, credit. Yeah, that's what I told him. I tried to get him out of hey, Eating hey, the slaps. Hey, I know. It's Dr. Herzog. Certainly, we have seen some it. One bit, it's a bigger men than okay. Phillips you go keep down, fucking including Nate Bernard. Fucking ready? Go, 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 now. Go, I don't want you to get a penalty. Go. 12 seconds, I'm right. telling you, go, go. We got a little infighting with uh, Recover. Vern Cathy and Ryan Phillips. He wants him to get up there and go right before the clock runs Let's out. Measure. Right hand on three. That was a look at your scorecard. You That's have to up 30 to 26. Yes. One, two. He needs a knockout. That was his best slap of the match by far. Good slap. You heard the impact. You up. heard the slap. All the way, no Let's be what. honest, on that was the first time you heard that. Head, you're up all day, all right? The slap sound. You got 48 seconds right now. You're still flowing. There you go. He's having a good old time. Give him the box. Having a, he's having a good old time. He's over here dancing, man. Where's touch? Oh, that was recover. Hand count. Right Damien DeBell do a little torso right hand, twist. Three. Trying to generate just a little more power than he has in his One. previous strikes. Two. Here goes the champ. Oh. Oh. That oh. Is That's the only for a count. Ryan Phillips, the king is dead. No, 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 no. Live the king. Damien DeBell with the biggest slap of the night. the power we've been talking about, Michael Bisping. And that was a clean sweep from start to finish. Throughout all three rounds, he was ahead, leading on points, and then no need for the scorecards. Round four, puts it to sleep. Mark Smith is like, good slap. He's like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's Monster Knockout brought to you by Monster Energy Unleashed the Beast.
We've been waiting for him to, uh, maybe it was the torso twist. Gave him that extra power. Uh, he went down hard as like well. The way he fell back, boom, a real impact on the canvas. Down like a box of rocks. Out like a light. That big, deep inhale once again, and the king of kings looking like a court jester and that's here the first, in the main event. That's the first time Ryan Phillips ever been knocked out, so that's impressive by Damien DeBell. There's a reason why he's the, uh, the heavyweight champion. 22 years old, now 4-0 in power slap. Look at Dan Helley losing his mind. Justin Bernard in the background. Fits out the mouthpiece. Wow. I have to admit, early on, it looked a little bit like a pillow fight. Wasn't <laughs> expecting that, and then we see the power. It was a slow start. Right now, Ryan Phillips is saying, where am I? What happened? That's always the way, like, hold on, what happened? What happened? So you Champ is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's decision is presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order. Send it to Justin Bernard to make it official in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith calls a stop to the match in round number four, declaring the winner by knockout and still power slap heavyweight champion of the world, yeah! Damien DeBell. Oh, oh, Damien DeBell like holds that. on to the title, his second title defense. Hey, we did that, we did that, you know what, to be honest, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. As I said all night, very humble down to worth, really nice guy, 22 years old, hard worker, now 4-0. That is his second heavyweight title defense. Three title wins over Rob Bates to become the champ, Nate Bernard last time out, and then tonight, Ryan King Phillips, the king of kings, loses the throne. So Damian DeBell with a monster fourth round knockout to retain the title, said he's saving up for law school, and I guarantee the check that he's going to get oh, yeah. from winning tonight and a potential bonus is going to go a long way towards helping pay for that. Not only this check, but they're going to keep on coming. He's going to have a bright future for a very long time. I'm telling you, he's got a tremendous chin, massive knockout power. I don't know if anybody's going to take that title off him anytime soon. Damian DeBell coming in here tonight, taking care of business, defending the title once again, and he is with Charlie Arnold now. Hey guys, here with the winner and still the Power Slap heavyweight champion, Damian DeBell. I saw you out there surveying your work. I don't know if, you know, you saw people were noticing. I saw you looking over. This, the fight started out a little bit slow, oh, yeah. but ended swiftly. How did you manage to find your groove? Uh, honestly, just going back into the training, you know, I've done a lot of training to try and really hone in on my slap and really perfect it. A couple ones, you know, still nerves. You got all the cameras and stuff, so, you know, the pressure's still on you, but I was able to overcome that and get back into my groove and it fucking worked. Well, I see you're getting, like, a little emotional right now. A little bit of tears in your eyes, your voice getting a little shaky. What's going through your mind? Just appreciative of the opportunity, honestly, you know. <laughs> it's wild. Never imagined myself being here, but it's amazing. It really is. When you survey and look at your opponent's handiwork, is that what you expected from Ryan Phillips? I definitely expected a fight. He definitely put up a great fight, but you know, shit happens and <laughs> it just wasn't his day today. He messed with the wrong one. Yeah. yeah, I would say so. And this is your second successful title defense. So what's next? I don't know. I guess they just keep standing people up and I keep chopping them down. <laughs> it's just that simple. How quickly would you like to defend your title again? I'd defend it every event if they wanted me to. <laughs> I have no problems defending it, you know, whenever they need. Great. Well, the powers that be, I'm sure they heard that he wants to defend it as soon as possible. So, Damien, congratulations. Nice job. Guys, back to you.
The champ has spoken. Thank you, Charlie. That post-fight interview brought to you by 10X Health. Precision Nutrition Wellness. Go to 10xnutrition.com. You know what time it is. It is time for a little real-time rewind. Taking a look back at what went down here tonight. Oh! Russell Rivera. That's how you deliver a slap. Man, the impact and the sound of that one. Russell Rivero, perhaps the no. strongest guy on the roster at one point. Oh. Isaiah Kenyon is getting him some too. I mean, look at that. Three. That put it down hard. Four. Isaiah Kenyon is. Six, seven, eight, no, four. We're good. That is it. Oh. Come on, baby oh. face. Nobody oh. saw that one coming. Baby face grab with knocking out. K.O. Chris. And Turk Daddy Slam, the first man to ever Two, not just sit down but knock three, out the ring. Four. Five. Never make it out. And then the champ, Damian Cabell, waited until the fourth round, saving his best slap for last. Knock it out, the King of Kings, Ryan Phillips. And here is a look at your power slap champions. Super heavyweight, the crazy Hawaiian. DeBell holds on. Wolverine still light heavyweight. The machine, John Davis, and then Emmanuel Muniz. Both Davis and Muniz were in the house. Coming up in June, it is power slap eight right here in Las Vegas. Can not wait. Power slap never disappoints this week. Never oh, no, listen, what a great night of action from top to bottom, start to finish. We got the heavyweight champ in the house, Tom Aspinall, of course, with his dad. Doesn't go anywhere without his dad. A lot of celebrities. The energy was electric, as always. And it was down to these people putting on a tremendous show. Austin Turpin missed weight, but delivered the show as usual. Got the knockout, got the victory. The main event. What a Ryan night. Phillips, what a night. What a night to be alive. Power Slap 7 in the books. And then, oh, by the way, UFC 300 coming up tomorrow. What a week. Vegas. Come Let's on. Go. Let's go. Thanks for watching, everybody. For Michael Bisping, I'm Dan Helley. Have a great weekend.